Hey guys, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today I have Donald here with me in the kitchen again. Hi YouTube, hope you're staying well and safe. We're going to show you how to make an ube dalgona latte. That's right. This is based on the popular trend of dalgona coffee, but instead of coffee, we're going to use ube to create that yummy whipped beverage. To start, take a small heatproof bowl like glass or stainless steel, add two room temperature egg whites, two tablespoons of sugar, and whisk them together thoroughly. Here, we're using egg whites with a Swiss meringue-esque technique to create that whipped up frothy texture. Dalgona coffee doesn't require egg whites because instant coffee has gluten, which makes that texture. Right, and since ube powder doesn't contain any gluten, the egg whites are key to this recipe. Next, set up a small saucepan over the lowest heat possible. Place the bowl with the egg white sugar mixture over it and continue whisking the mixture so the egg whites get evenly heated, but don't start to solidify. Do this until the sugar has dissolved. Low heat is key here, so the heating is slow and even, and the egg whites don't solidify. You can estimate when it's done by sight and touch, or if you have a thermometer, alternate between whisking and checking the temperature till the mixture reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature needed to remove all risk of eating egg whites. If you're estimating by touch, it's done when the mixture feels sticky to touch and you hardly feel the grains of sugar anymore. When the graininess is gone and the gold temperature is reached, take the bowl off the water bath. Add in 1 4th teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now cream of tartar is optional, but it will help the egg whites gain volume and form stiffer peaks but you can do without. Then, take an electric mixer, beat the heated mixture for about one minute till it becomes nice and frothy. While continuing to beat, slowly add in one teaspoon of ube powder and one teaspoon of ube extract. Continue beating this mixture till stiff peaks form and you have that desired Dalgona texture, like this. Gently fold the mixture while scraping down the bowl to ensure there's no unmixed ube. This recipe is for a serving of two, but you could double it, or you could half it, etc., depending on how many people you're serving. Next, we're going to take two glasses, put three to four ice cubes in each glass, then fill it about three-fourths of the way up with milk of your choice. We personally like regular milk or almond milk. Then top it with the whipped Ube Dalgona. And feel free to texture the top with your spoon however you'd like. And there it is. Ube Dalgona Latte. Ang sarap. Mmm. Mmm, love that ube flavor. So good. And it has all that protein from the egg whites. Wait, so this is healthy? Right. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for joining me in another culinary adventure. Thanks for having me. You know I'm game for anything ube. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this ube dalgona latte. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. Maraming salamat! Mm. Cheers!